Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today you're gonna come along with me to go book shopping. I'm a little bit nervous right now. My heart's kind of racing. I just drove, I drove somewhere. So um, bear with me. But um, I love a bookstore. I've highlighted them on my channel before. And um, it's like a few towns over from my town and it's the closest bookstore to me. So um, I really want to go in today. I don't have work today. Today's Monday um, because it was Easter weekend and everything. So I thought this would be the perfect time to go to a bookstore. Um, one of the sweet sellers at this bookstore, um, one of the employees named Maggie. Hi Maggie, if you're watching this. Um, she actually DM'd me on Instagram and let me know that there are some Beverly Jenkins books in last week she messaged me so we'll see if they're still there um and i don't have a lot of beverly chickens because i was talking to her last time i was there and saying like they're so rare to find and so she really wanted to put some in the bookstore so we'll see what they have and i just really love this bookstore with historical romances and romances in general so let's go in <laughs> But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew Okay, everyone, we're now in a different parking lot at a different place. Um, that area that the bookstore is in, the parking there makes me want to like tear all my hair out. It's so anxiety inducing. So um, we're now in a different parking lot where um, I hope to go in and do some shopping. I haven't done any like shopping by myself in a very long time because I always have someone taking me there and whatnot. So. Yeah, I'm also a little bit awkward because I'm filming in a parking lot right now and I haven't done that in quite a long time. So, um, here's to praying and hoping no one parks next to me. <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about the books that I got. By the way, this bag that I'm using is from um, Faded Romance Bookish Box. Um, their link to their website is down below if you want to check them out. They have amazing like monster romance, alien romance merch. So. I love this one. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet since they sent it to me. So um, I thought it was perfect for this trip. So I got a few books, so I thought I would show them off. The first one that caught my eye is this Suzanne Enoch. This is always a scoundrel. And look, I love the painting 
effects like on these historical romances like it looks like a painting and I love it and the step back I think is beautiful and I haven't read a Suzanne Enoch book but here's to praying and hoping that I love her books because I own quite a few. I love reading the little taglines here on the step backs too. This one says a true rake would never reform unless he was tempted with a passion just as wicked. And look he's a little nakey nakey. <laughs> And again, it has that painted effect to it. Yes. Next, I found this book. I'm not going to be keeping it. I'm going to be seeing if one of my friends maybe wants it because when you see this series with a step back in a store, you buy it. And this is probably one of my least favorite books in the series. So yeah, but I found To Sir Philip with Love by Julia Quinn with the step back. Okay, like... I had to buy it. It was only $3 and I know one of my friends probably wants it in their collection so I'm going to reach out to some of them but I actually don't really like this book because I don't like Sir Philip. Um, he's one of my least favorite like, heroes from this series uh, besides Benedict. Um, so um, Benedict Show Benedict is amazing. Benedict Book Benedict can suck it honestly but um, yeah there is the step back. I've never seen one of these out in the wild so and then I found this one was very intriguing. The title caught my eye because I had the word bodyguard in it so this is The Bride's Bodyguard by Elizabeth Thornton. I've never read anything from this author at all and I haven't heard anything about this book but look at that step back and the the summary intrigued me so I'm gonna read it. It says with his striking good looks Ross Trevan, Tre Trevan, I can't pronounce his name. Trevanan <laughs> was one of the most attractive men Tessa Lorimer has ever seen, but five minutes in his company convinced her he was the most arrogant and infuriating man alive. That's why it was such a shock to discover Trevanan's true purpose. Hired to escort her out of Paris and back to England, he had sworn that he'd do anything to keep her safe even if he had to marry her to do it. Now finding herself a bride to a devastatingly attractive bodyguard seems more hazardous than any other situation he could possibly encounter. Yet Tessa doesn't know that he, she holds the key to a mystery that Trevenan would sell his soul to solve and a vicious murderer will kill to keep. Sounds very intriguing, so I had to snag that. And then I found these two books with all the Lisa Kleypas books, and I've never seen this before, but these are actually bind-ups. And whenever I see a Lisa Kleypas book I don't own yet, I steal it. Not steal, I didn't steal these books. <laughs> I snag them, you know what I mean? I think these are a steal. So this is Falling For You, which is a bind up of two novels in one. This is Married By Morning and Love In The Afternoon. So the last two books in the Hathaways series? What series is it? Goodness me, I'm having to look it up. Yes, it's the Hathaways. <laughs> I hate how I was second guessing myself, but um, I saw this and I've never seen this before, so I'm going to add to my Lisa Kleypas collection. And then um, this one was also there. This is A Season for Love, which has A Wallflower Christmas, which I do not own, and it has Mine Till Midnight, which is interesting how Mine Till Midnight is in this bind up. It looks like very like Christmassy, so why is Mine Till Midnight in here? I do own Mine Till Midnight, um, which is the first book in the Hathaway series. I think it's interesting how. A wallflower book and a Hathaway book are in a bind up together. Explain that to me, but it's okay. I didn't own a copy of A Wallflower Christmas. And just like this is an interesting copy that I've never seen before. So I had to get it and they were only five bucks each. And then the last book that I got is not a romance book. It's a YA book, but I had to get it because this is one of the like a part of a series that I absolutely love. So this is Mystery of Thorn Manor by Margaret Rogerson. So I love the main book in this world. This is Sorcery of Thorns. This is like, I think a little novella that takes place after it. And that book is way taller and thicker, just by the way. And I absolutely love that book. And I think this is a novella that takes place after it. These are the two main characters that are still here. I even have, I think, a review for that book on my channel randomly. I read that YA book out of the blue, out of nowhere, and I fell in love with it. So I decided to make a um, review for it on my channel. So it's there, I think I did it like two years ago, but this cover is stunning. And I couldn't pass it up also because it's signed. All the copies in the bookstore were signed. So I just had to get it. And it is so tiny and so cute. And 
I read a YA book every now and then and Margaret Rogerson's writing I think is beautiful. I really love her fantasy romances. Not romances, sorry. I'm so used to saying fantasy romances. I really love her fantasy young adult books. So um, I just had to get this and Charlie Boatwater's artistry is just fantastic as well so those for all the books that i got it's a little bit uneventful there was no like big major purchase <laughs> but you know what like i challenged myself today i went to a bookstore all by myself so that happened um so i'm gonna give myself a big pat on the back i hope you all enjoyed this reading vlog if you're in the area of texas where the brenham book nook is be sure to go check that out because I think it is a wonderful little bookstore. And yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.